Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff. So uh, before I proceed as always, I also bought my channel on the social medias also for extra support. Everything is on the description. So let's get started. Um, seems that uh, after all the 7500F from AMD, the CPU, uh, the availability outside of China is exclusively through uh, Steam integrators. So it's not for DIY market so only if you buy from uh, I don't know which kind of stores that can uh, that there are some of them that that offer uh, like assembled builds and everything uh, it's the only way to get this uh, CPU out of the China market um, for sure there will be some way around this uh, eventually um, but uh, because it's like a low budget uh, cpu i don't think th it will compensate for you to get that extra steps to get a, a cheaper product uh, when it might just increase the price uh, uh, by itself to try go around any kind of this uh, system unless you like a new uh, for, or a first time builder uh, and you want a really um, uh, like low budget gaming cpu uh, cpu sorry uh, system uh, and you have like a system integrator uh, usually i don't know if this kind of system integrator is going to be like uh, that mass produce this kind of systems but i assume any kind of system integrator um, well reputed can uh, will offer this kind of option uh, but still the, the fact that it is at the moment um, given the, the the current price of the 7600x is around the same price that the 7700 and they go about around 200 dollars give or take uh, a 20 dollar difference in a system integrated system uh, i don't know if it compensates uh, getting all this trouble to get this cpu i, I think we, we we might see a lot of them because this is like the most basic entry level for i don't know for enterprises and everything and companies that need like uh, a lot of systems uh, update or something like that um because i think that uh, you know unless you are in the channel market i don't see at least at the time being uh, any composition of trying to get around getting one of these uh, unless it's just for uh, curiosity and test, uh, testing purposes uh, but yeah uh, it, and this is of course um, uh, from uh, an amd spokesman uh, from germany uh, i don't know um, i don't know who tried to reach out uh, some uh, outlet try to reach out from uh, to clarify the, the availability and of course uh, the rest of the world is an option on select system builders so uh, not all of them so it's a select uh, i don't know around the world i don't know maybe one of those like only big that can uh, get a, a lot of uh, orders from that usually get around a, a lot of orders uh, to build systems but yeah it is uh, the information that we have for now uh, regarding this i don't know if eventually they will uh, launch in the DUI market but uh, with this kind of statement i don't think so uh, not even in a uh, like in the near future or something like that um uh, in Intel part, they are <laughs> planning a price hike across all core CPUs as part of restructuring policy. Uh, the all core CPUs, I think it's like the new branding name that I'm going to make, but still it's uh, a little tricky how, how the news uh, went. Uh, the news uh, German outlet, uh, the forums moderator uh, disclosed the information. So this is like a disclose, uh, I think it's official. Uh, because it was like an internal email or memo or something like that um, and I think uh, the, they say that one of the main, uh, main reasons um, that uh, even uh, like uh, all uh, CPUs that are currently in stock or at a discounted price will receive the price increase this will include Alder Lake, Raptor Lake and the upcoming uh, Raptor Lake refresh CPUs this is not good news uh, but I think uh, they, they mentioned here 
mainly the, one of the, the main reasons for this is Intel is currently developing around 70 billion chip plant in uh, Germany, in Eastern Germany. I'm not going to try to pronounce the, 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 the locality here. Um, and there are some interests with the primary one being the lack of financial uh, financing. Of course, when they, this kind of uh, big uh, companies, they want to do like a huge investment, they usually uh, go for also some uh, subsidies from local governments or even from the country government. Uh, when this kind of uh, kind of huge investments uh, come around, um, so they try to divide the cost, but uh, it's another story. Um, but yeah, um, this is I, I, we are not sure if these price increases are going to be only for Germany market, uh, mainly because of the, the fact that uh, a lot of this is happening on Germany, the, 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 the trying to invest this, and because they can um, they are only eligible for six. 0.8 and they were asking uh, 10 billion so they are short in 3.2 um, I don't know um, and of course this is increased to energy and construction costs this is one of the things that when you start um, putting sanctions on, on the country that gives you energy blow up the pipeline but that is <laughs> out of the purview of this of this article but yeah this is mainly about the sanctions uh, and the cost of energy and of course construction because of raw materials i sh i'm sure there is some kind of sections especially on russia uh, uh, given on russia and this will all increase uh, this kind of costs uh, and uh, and this is what it is uh, you get uh, this in this kind of situations um uh, but yeah, basically this is basically the main reason. There is not um, a clarification if it's uh, only limited to German markets, uh, but at the moment it seem it will seem that will be this uh, this case at the moment. Uh, of course, if anything um, uh, like in kind of updates regarding this price price hike, uh, I will let you know. This, this or, they already done this like a few years ago. I don't remember which CPUs or which products um but they already did this um uh they, they, they did this he uh, it doesn't say here uh, last year it was like last year also um and it was affected from single digit up to 20 percent um we'll, we'll see how it goes there are no specifics of which products are going to be uh in kind of percentages price hiked uh, but yeah, this also comes uh, after the detail uh, basically restructured the, the, the part of the Nuke lineup. They basically discontinued everything from here. It was uh, also a little bit of uh, like a niche market in this kind of uh, things. But uh, it's uh, but Asus basically took over the business to a certain degree uh, in terms of market share of this of this business here. But yeah, uh, this is like basically the hardware news that I have. Regarding gaming news, we got a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff basically from uh, Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Got this cover from FX uh, They A lot of people got a lot of uh, hands-on uh, 11 missions. Uh, the, at least the first, seven, uh, the first 11 missions. They only can show new gameplay uh, from uh, 4 missions or 5 missions from those 11. Uh, I think might have like some spoilery stuff here. But uh, the, the, the footage that we got, it gives, I think, gives a good um, a glimpse of what the game will offer. Uh, the, the the video from um, Factor Life is a short one. It's like uh, like a ten minute uh, video, just going all, uh, over all the the how it felt uh, in terms of pacing, the combat, the, the mechanics. Very very uh, um, uh, broad, uh, broadly uh, approaching kind of the what people uh, are curious about regarding the game, the story, also uh, the customization stuff. Um, if you want more in depth, you can read the article. But basically, what uh, the article uh, and the video uh, point out, the only um, negative aspect to a certain point, which is uh, between a nitpick and and um, a current thing with uh, from software games, it's the the graphic wise. There, at the time when Elden Ring uh, came out, uh, a lot of people were uh, kind of annoyed the fact that the engine is not very well upgraded it's basically a little uh, at the time uh, a kind of a minor update from uh, Dark Souls 3 
uh, game, uh, gameplay style but because it's a fantasy setting you can justify a little bit your art direction in that way but because it's like mecha stuff uh, people are expecting a little bit more detailed stuff even though it's uh, it the, it responds uh, beautifully the, the, in terms of the commands you can also uh, differences between like uh, two-legged uh, and thread uh, and quad pad uh, all that stuff you can notice difference when you play it so it's only like the uh, visual stuff here but if you want to go more in depth uh, i got uh, vativadia uh, it's one of those that goes uh, uh, more in depth like 46 minutes i watched the video it goes uh, uh, like all the details all the, the um like the little details like for example explaining the hud how it works um wh what kind of differences your customization on on the uh, on the parts goes uh, explaining this expansion stuff uh, how it works the mechanics it goes in very more detail uh if you're uh if you want to to check it out i will leave a link on the description also for this video uh, but of course if i advise you to watch first the effects of life uh, stuff so you get a broad idea and get a sense of what's happening <laughs> around there and then you can uh, when you have time you can watch the more in-depth one it's a very good very good video it goes about in in a lot of stuff um, some repeated missions of course because they can only show like four or five missions from the 11 uh, but yeah it's well worth time and you you will get a good sense and like the pros and cons from people that are more used to play like dark souls -y, um kind of games um they, they go about uh, the, the pros and cons of people uh, that and also setting the i think the proper expectations regarding this game uh, but yeah it, it's it's a lot of info to take in but i'm very 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 um hyped to a certain sense for this game um i, will, I think it will be an excellent game um the only thing is i think it's um, they need to start thinking about the, improving the, the 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 engine the game engine i think it needs like an overall uh, kind of thing for the next games uh, to improve a little bit of graphic fidelity uh, i kind of know that they are used to this kind of engine and they the workflow for sure it's uh, on point with this kind of engine but i, I think it it starts to show a little bit of its age um at the moment but yeah uh regarding that it's i think it's going to be an excellent game also we got uh, from starfield we got free free uh, uh animated anthology tra kind of trailers it's like short things like two minutes um it's uh to set the mood and and uh, they are well done and i kind of like it they go about the three main kind of regions settled regions the um new atlantis um the Achilles city which is like the western uh, kind of city uh, thing here and um uh, uh the pleasure city i forget how it's called uh, but it's the pleasure city stuff here um but yeah i, I think that they, 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 they are very good to set the mood and and kind of the the exploration of of space and everything uh, and basically for the news is it, I got some um, gaming deals here, Resident Evil franchise is up to sell, so i uh, got Resident Evil 7, uh, all of them, the remakes, except for the Resident Evil 4 remake, it's it's the one still that it doesn't have uh, any kind of deal here, I'll leave the list of the, of the games in the description, uh, 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 which are the ones that I think are worth buying. Um, but yeah, the uh, Resident Evil up to 80 87%, I'm not going to, it's like 7 games, I'm not going one by one. Um, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, it's still on a promo until the 3rd of August, and before I forget, uh, Resident Evil is until the 7th of August. Uh, Red, Dead, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, sorry, um, still 67% off base game and the Ultimate Edition 70% uh, off. Uh, also, we got uh, Void Busters. I really, really enjoyed this game. Uh, until the end of the month, 70% off. I think it's well worth. If you like roguelike style games uh, with a little bit of humor here, I think it's a, a well worthwhile uh, experience. And also, lastly, we got uh, Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. It's 60% uh, off. I think the Deluxe Edition is uh, well suited, uh, mainly because the, it has like content DLC here for the story. Uh, and I think it's well worth it. If you want also to get the Miasma Chronicles, which are from the same developers, 
so this games these two games is 32 percent off 60 uh, it's a, can be a little uh, a little uh, money but uh, i think it's well worth it if you like this kind of games uh, kind of x uh feel to 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 the game itself with some twists here and there uh, in terms of gameplay and yeah basically this is it guys i'm going to wrap up for today uh, with my GoGet family for me to upgrade my PC to get better more content from my private clients and of course start doing some video stuff for them uh, besides the, the written content and in my free spare time doing the daily videos better quality um, doing some scripted content also to get in some deep dives resume my gameplay series and possibly do some live streams in the near future and with all that said guys I hope you have a full day and I'll see you in the next one till then Kunami Master out